everyone. So I thought it would be so cool for my 2019 Euro tour this year to do a video diary. Um, we see so many cool places and meet so many cool people and I thought one, it would be great for me just to have a memory to look back on um, of all of our adventures, but I, I also thought it would be fun for you guys to get to follow us along while you're at home. So this is episode one of my tour video diary, and we start in Wiesbaden, Germany for the U.S. Army on the 4th of July, and then head to my favorite biker festival, Biker Days in Fullendorf. The flight was very long and tiring, and even though it was an overnight flight, you don't sleep much. Um, but we were so excited to land in Germany. We flew into Frankfurt Airport and got our choice of two really nice vans, which was great. <laughs> We were all so excited. This was the first date of our Euro tour um, at Wiesbaden Army Base. And I had to stop filming when we got to the gate because they don't allow photography or video of any kind. So it was really cool. We had to go through extensive security measures um, before we were able to enter. So and we just got on base and now we're in their kind of lounge area. And look how cool this is. There is a bowling alley. We're ordering food now. So after we had lunch, I was so tired, but I was really thrilled that they asked me to go to the Armed Forces Network, um, their radio station. So we took a trip there and we had a lot of fun. You're listening to AFM Beesbond, the Eagles serving America's best on private journalists. Coming to you with me is a country singer, Jessica Lynn, straight off the, uh, the straight plane. off the plane. <laughs> I almost said straight off the airport. Oh, well, that but, is uh, true. <laughs> straight from the airport and right into the studio. And, like, there's just no rest, really. Just no, keep but, working. Yeah, but we're so excited to be here. So it's, Well, it's we're, we're so excited to have you on. We were so excited. It, back in the States, I do a lot of stuff with the military. We work with a lot of different organizations, um, everything from Toys for Tots. We do a huge show um, every Christmas for to Honor Flight. I work with about four different organizations that work with veterans and our troops. And um, so we were looking for something cool to do for the 4th mm -hmm. of July since we're going to be overseas now for two months on a big European tour. And we came across the 4th of July event mm -hmm. and we sent an email in and we were so excited that we were able to come. <laughs> well, uh, hey, be sure to stay tuned. We headed back to the base and wanted to get our workout in before dinner. So we just finished a workout. This is the hotel. We're at the Army Lodge. It's beautiful. And we're going to go get some dinner. They're taking such good care of us here. We really appreciate it. We're going to go order from the cafeteria. Which is awesome. Now we're leaving the hotel. Isn't this so nice? We're going to dinner. There's nothing happening yet, but tomorrow this will be filled with about 5,000 or so people. It's kind of cool that it's all empty. I'm curious what that great movie ride is. And the cafeteria is right in here. They got crepes, soft ice, soft ice cream. Meat stand, choco fruits, which I think is chocolate fruit. <laughs> oh, and there's the band eating without me. How rude. We got a good night's rest so that we were ready for sound check the next day.
sound check went so awesome and now it's time for the show. I can't wait. special to me because a very renowned military doctor, Rory Cooper, who was the civilian aide to the Secretary of the Army, gave me an American flag pin on stage that now I wear every show for good luck, and he also gave me one of his coins. I'll, I'll always remember that. So we just finished the show, now we're in the green room eating dinner. I have salad and a black bean burger. And it was so much fun. They're so sweet. They actually got us a goodie bag. They just did the 70th anniversary of the Berlin Airlift, so they gave us these special hats, and we got some German sunglasses, and a cool cup. It was so sweet. Everybody here was so nice. We just had a really great time. Bye, V-Spotten. You're a very good test. So now we're off to Fullendorf, Germany for one of my favorite festivals of all time, Biker Days. I cannot wait to get there. It's our third year playing it. And it's going to be so much fun. So we stopped at our first rest stop in Germany. We're on our way to South Germany for a biker festival in Fullendorf. And rest stops here in Germany are so much better than in the States. I have to show you what they have. And this is right off the highway, like what we would, you know, go to like a Burger King or something. They have stuff like this. Fresh produce, desserts. <laughs> So we arrived at the Rumpelstiltskin guest house, which we stayed at two years ago and absolutely we loved. So this place is just so cute. It's more like an apartment than a hotel room. Um, so you have the bedroom in the back. There was a nice big bathroom. And um, then they had the cutest little living room with extra beds for if you have more people. 
and um, a great kitchen and then it opens out into a really nice deck and it's just so quiet and peaceful out there um, there's nothing quite like it So we got settled into our rooms and then we all decided to go around the corner and have dinner at the Rumpelstiltskin, which is also a restaurant. Oh, number one. Mm-hmm. Right, we're going to dinner. Cutest little place ever. <laughs> Almost every restaurant in Germany does an after dinner shot or drink, so um, this is really fun. <laughs> All right, let's go to the show. I had the best security and driver, Silvio. I got to see Stefan, who got my name tattooed on his arm last year, eat my favorite German food, Flammkuchen, which is like pizza, and see the amazing organizers of Biker Days Festival that we love so much. puppy and sadly we had to say goodbye to our friends at biker days but I even made the paper which was really cool and now we have one day off before we head to Italy. So our wonderful German hosts at the Rumpelstiltskin have uh, taken us on a little day trip to see Lake Constance. We had such a nice day. Uh, we went back to the Rumpelstiltskin, had a great dinner at a restaurant nearby, and met some wonderful new friends. And it was time to say goodbye to Fullendorf, Germany, on to Italy.